Guys, welcome back to the channel. We're staying tonight at the Hyatt Mission Bay Regency Resort, and uh, we're gonna be giving you a full tour and review of the hotel. This is gonna be a room entry here at the Hyatt. We're staying in a fifth floor hotel room, queen room, double beds, and we are looking at the ocean view from our room, and we have an awesome view of all of Mission Bay. You can see the water there a little bit more in the distance. I'm not sure if it's gonna come through really well on camera, but it is there. Great view of the pool down here. There's three different pools. Pretty large, spacious outdoor patio section, couple sitting chairs so you can hang out and look at the view. Room itself, um, it's what you'd expect, I suppose, out of a hotel room. I wouldn't say it's anything blown away. The details of the room are kind of cool. You can tell there's a little bit of like a nautical theme they're trying to go for here with the uh, wood paneling effect, as well as some of the lamp fixtures. Um, this lamp looks like something you'd see maybe down at a harbor, I guess. Uh, maybe some rope on the mirrors. So more of a bay themed vibe, but I'd say compared to some of the other Hyatt rooms we've seen, it's not something that blows you away. What you're really getting out of this is the view. Bathroom, everything you expect from the Hyatt. Um, full vanity, it's nice. Um, there's a small area over here with a mini fridge. Uh, standard room overall. We were offered either this room or a 15th floor marina view room, but wanted to see the bay. Um, overall, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, first impressions, very nice. Uh, good service and really clean. Very clean. We love that about the Hyatt. There is water slides down here into a three section pool area, Palm Tree Island there. We've got an awesome view of all of Mission Bay. Um, we'll be reviewing uh, the entire hotel this weekend and uh, give you updates as we see more. Always kind of a ocean sea themed vibe. The carpets are supposed to be, I think, waves and they have some decor at the end that's um, like she sells. Cool. I'm not sure if I pointed this out in the past, but the Hyatt only allows four people in the elevator at one time, so kind of helps out with their overall clean um, promise, and uh, you can tell everything here is cleaned like every hour, basically. Nice courtyard area here. I think this could be used for events, whether that's like a corporate gathering, or I'm not sure, maybe they do little weddings in this area here, but um, nice patio area, entry well to the lobby. Very nice, and um, lots of bright green trees everywhere. Very cool. All right, we just ran out to grab some drinks for the room. Um, we're gonna be just hanging out here for the night, and we're just down here, um, essentially just to hang out, review the hotel. Um, in the same uh, lens as I did the last video, I'll be reviewing four parts about the hotel, cleanliness, service, uh, value for the money, as well as the location of the Hyatt. So this is, as I mentioned before, in uh, Mission Bay, San Diego, very popular for tourists and for just locals in general. Um, so we're probably about a five minute drive from Mission Bay itself and from Mission Beach. Location is prime. I'll put a location on the map right here so you can see where we're at. Uh, it's a five out of five. We knew that going into the hotel. Um, so anything you're gonna be able to access in San Diego is gonna be a great spot here. Um, from a service perspective, we had a really good experience actually getting into the hotel. Everybody seems super friendly um, from what we've seen so far. The cleanliness is also really well done at pretty much all the high hotels. We've stayed at three now in the last few months or so. The Indian Wells location, the uh, Andaz downtown, as well as now this one. And every Hyatt we've seen so far is just outstanding in terms of cleanliness. So very pleased from that perspective. And then from value, I believe this place goes for, in general, about 250 a night. We're staying here on points for um, a really good points conversion value, but um, for 250, I think it's probably worth it just for the location alone and the views. Um, but we'll review more about the hotel as we get more into it. A little Alc for the room. Just a little. A little Alc.
outside at the pool area. Very cool. They actually have three pools here, pretty much connected by a center Palm Island. You have awesome views of Mission Bay with all of the yachts that pull up here and are owned by private individuals and sometimes by companies who do tours. But um, very cool. The hotel is right behind you, and you can see kind of how far it goes up. I believe there's 16 stories here, um, but pretty much immediate access to the boardwalk right here where all the yachts are parked if you wanted to go walk around in here. Um, there's a restaurant right here. I don't know if it's open. I think it may be closed due to restrictions right now, but it's a like seafood and steak restaurant. So um, very nice and um, just some nice cabanas here. Beautiful resort. Very cool outside portion of the hotel. Probably one of the coolest like spaces we've been in previously. Um, the location is amazing. You can go walk around out here. The hotel room also comes with a complimentary rental of a kayak, uh, which or a paddleboard, which I didn't know. So that's very cool. Location is a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't think it gets better. Um, for our ratings, locations a five out of five. Cleanliness so far has been a five out of five from the high. I don't think any hotel is doing it better and they're rated for their cleanliness during this time. Uh, service is great, although it's very limited right now on purpose, so you don't have too much interaction with people, but everyone we do come in contact with is pretty friendly. Um, and then the value here for 250 bucks a night, even if you're paying this cash, I think you would not be disappointed to be paying 250 to be in this location, go to the beach, hang out at this hotel, and uh, just hang out in the general Mission Bay area. So uh, for me, this is an awesome hotel. So you come down here, there's jet ski rentals, kayaks, paddle boards, as I mentioned, there is a complimentary paddle board or kayak rental included with your room. So that's a nice perk. Paddle out, see the boats, go into Mission Bay and um, enjoy the water. watching the sunset from the room. Incredible view. I think you could probably barely see it there in the corner, but that is the bay right there. And then there's the ocean just beyond it, beyond those houses. There's a strip that runs this way um, with a bunch of houses, but um, amazing views from our room here at the Hyatt. We're out here at sunset, incredible views. Like I said, the pool is a three, one, two, three. The slides are over here. If you didn't get a good view of them when I was in the pool area, People are going down, starts here, circles down. Not too long, but plenty of fun for the kids if you're in town. The Hyatt Mission Bay, I think is my favorite Hyatt so far besides the Puerto Rico Hyatt. The sunset down here is incredible. It has a really great ambiance here. It's pretty cool. It's uh, like 250 a night. And I think for the first time of all the Hyatts we've stayed at, I'm like, this is very worth it. You should come down here. We have the three pools, obviously, all back here. This is Mission Bay, all here. Um, you can go out there, rent jet skis, go boating, do really whatever you want. Um, it's a really cool place to hang out. Tourists love it, and also just like locals love this area as well. Fiesta Island is back this way, which is uh, an area you can go to to basically go camping, bring your uh, dogs and stuff on the beach. Very cool. Um, the resort's in a perfect location. Karen having his wine night. Ooh. Lashal. Lashal. Sunset's insane at this hotel. I think this is uh, maybe one of the best uh, hotel setups you can get. I'm switching out to wide lens mode, back to regular lens mode, double lens mode, back to regular. Amazing. You go over the bridge right there, 
On the left side is Mission Beach, on the right is Pacific Beach, and if you go down far enough, uh, you can actually see um, the Ocean Beach. All right, we're gonna go check out the uh, fire pit downstairs. I believe that's still going. Um, they have actually two fire pits outside by the pool, so we're gonna go see if we can hang out by them for a little bit. All right, never mind. Uh, somehow we uh, were able to go into the uh, area of the restaurant where they have a fire pit, and uh, no one's saying anything, so we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Guys, we're calling it a night. We'll uh, check in with you tomorrow morning. Alex, are you excited for our day today? I'm excited. Thought I'd try to show the room in a little bit more depth as well. So I'm standing at the far edge of the room. Uh, there's big TV, hooks up for demand services. Um, decor, as I've mentioned, is kind of nautical themed. You can see kind of the rope on the mirror over there. The wall here is actually not wood. It's actually a concrete or something that's finished uh, like concrete and has that design on it. Two big beds, um, queen size. And then of course the highlight of the room, the huge balcony. We have a free kayak rental included with the room. So I think we're gonna go get some breakfast pull that out and see if we can go out on the bay. It's a beautiful day today. It is about like high 70s, beautiful uh, San Diego weather. just finished doing uh, paddle boarding around Mission Bay. It was pretty cool. We got an hour free complimentary paddle board um, for both of us. So that was awesome. You just have to go up to the front desk and they actually give you um, the ability to go up to four people. So you could either get a single person kayak or a paddle board to stand up on and ride around. So it was our first time doing it. It was pretty fun. Uh, I thought it was cool. I'd do it again. Um, we just went down to the pool again for a little bit and tried out the slides. Uh, concerned some parents with uh, the amount of times we went down and all their kids were up there, but it was fine. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. That's tasty.